Hi everyone, we are going to spend another day talking about area and circumference of circles. So this should be the second page in your unit packet. Um, so if you read the directions for the first part, it says find the radius in diameter given the following information. Use pi equals 3.14, show all steps. So in day one, we talked about how the directions are really important for these types of problems because if they tell you to use 3.14 for pi, you have to make sure that's what you're doing. Um, if they tell you anything about rounding, that means that you're using the pi key on your calculator. And if it says to leave your answer in terms of pi, we are treating pi as if it's a variable and we're not punching anything into our calculator for pi. So it looks like for this entire notes page, we are going to use 3.14, so the approximation for pi. So number one says, find the radius and diameter of a circle with an area of 28.26 feet squared. Okay, so this is different from our previous lesson where we were given the radius or diameter and we were asked to find the area. This time we're given the area, so we're gonna have to work backwards here. So the first thing I would do is I would write down the formula for area because that's what we're given. So we're gonna say area equals pi r squared. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in all of the information we know. So since we know the area, I'm going to substitute that in for A in our formula. So now I have 28.26 equals, instead of pi, I'm going to put in 3.14 since they tell us to use that. And then the radius I don't know, so I'm going to leave that R squared. So what we have to do is solve this equation for R. In order to do that, we need to get rid of the 3.14 in front of our R squared. And to do that, since 3.14 is being multiplied by R squared, I'm going to divide both sides by 3.14. Give me a second to type that in. So we should be getting that now 9 equals r squared. So now we have to think, how do I figure out what r is if I know r squared is 9? So you can think about this, what number squared gives you 9? Or the other way to do this is to take the square root of both sides. Because when we take the square root of r squared, we just get r. And the square root of 9 is 3. So I've answered the first part. I know the radius of the circle is 3 feet. Now it's also asking me for the diameter. So remember the diameter of a circle is 2 times the radius. So in this case the diameter would be 6 feet. Okay, number two, same thing. Find the radius and diameter of a circle with an area of 314 meters squared. So again, since we're given the area, let's start with our area formula. And let's plug in 314 for the area in that formula. So 314 will equal, again, we're using 3.14 for pi, and I don't know the radius, so I'm leaving that as r squared. So just like before, in order to get r squared alone, I need to divide both sides by 3.14. And when I do that, on the left, I get 100. And on the right, I'm just left with r squared. And to get just r, I'm going to take the square root of both sides, which gives me 10. So I know the radius of this circle is 10 meters. To get the diameter, I double that, which is 20 meters. Okay, so let's try one more that way. So in this case, now I have an area of 50.24 centimeters squared. So we'll start with the formula, pi r squared. We're going to plug in 50.24 for the area, 3.14 for pi, and r squared is what I don't know. We're going to divide both sides by 3.14. That will give me 16 equals r squared. I'll take the square root of both sides to get 4 for the radius. So 4 centimeters. Double that to get the diameter, which is then 8 centimeters. Okay, so that's how we would work backwards if we were given the area of the circle. Okay, number four. 
Alex wants to put a small fence around her circular flower garden, which has a diameter of 12 feet. Part A, will she need to find the circumference or the area of the garden and why? So one of the key words that you can look for to kind of determine if it's gonna be circumference or area is around. When you see around, I want you to think of that as perimeter. And remember, circumference is just a fancy word for the perimeter of a circle. And so if we're putting a fence around something, we need to know the distance around that shape, around the circle. So this would be circumference. Because she needs the fence to go around the garden. other option would have been area and that's if we were trying to cover the garden so maybe if we were trying to figure out um, you know how much dirt she needs to cover that area that would be more um, area than circumference so then we actually have to figure out how much fencing she would need so this is where our circumference formula comes in since they're giving us the diameter of that circle I'm going to choose to use circumference equals pi d but remember, you could do 2 pi r. That's the other circumference formula. So we're still using 3.14 for pi from the directions above. I know my diameter is 12. So I'm going to do 3.14 times 12. And I'm going to get 37.68 feet. And remember, circumference being perimeter, we don't have feet squared or anything like that. It's just feet. All right, go ahead and turn to the next page. So number five, James wants, James wants to purchase a cover for his above ground swimming pool. The pool has a diameter of 14 feet. Okay, so again, we're gonna figure out if we need to find circumference or area of the pool in order to purchase the cover. So if you look for keywords here, we are covering the pool. Okay, so it doesn't make sense to have a pool cover that just goes around the outside of your pool. We actually want to cover it, and covering is area. So we can explain it as just that. Area, because we want to cover the pool. So to figure out how big your cover has to be, we're going to use our formula. Area equals pi r squared our only choice for the area formula. Some people like to think that you can use pi times d, um, but that's not the same. It has to be this uh, radius squared. And we're going to plug in 3.14 for pi. And since we know the diameter of the pool is 14 feet, the radius is half of that. So we're going to do times 7 squared. Okay, so if you put that in your calculator, we're going to end up having 153.86, and this is feet squared, because it's area, we square our units. Okay, number six, a circular lawn 20 meters in diameter is to be reseeded at a cost of $14 per square meter. Find the total cost. Okay, so now we're talking about a lawn that needs to be reseeded. So we need to think, is this circumference or is this area? Well, if you're reseeding your lawn, would you only be putting grass seed around the outside perimeter? <laughs> nope, we would be covering it. So this is another area problem. So we're going to start with area equals pi r squared. I need to figure out how much total seating do I need to cover this lawn and then I can figure out the price. So I'm going to put in 3.14 pi. It tells me that the diameter is 20 meters so my radius is half of that which is 10 so times 10 squared which gives me a total area of 314 meters squared. So to figure out the total cost, I know that it's $14 per square meter, and I have 314 square meters. So in this case, we would multiply 
314 times the $14, which gives us a very expensive amount of money for reseeding that lawn. Yikes. $4,396. Okay, number seven. So we're kind of going back to what we did in the beginning where I'm giving you the area and you're finding the radius. The difference with this one is that the area is given to you in terms of pi. Okay, so this might seem kind of weird, different at first, but you're going to find that it's actually pretty easy when they give you something in terms of pi, just like we found in the previous lesson. So I'm going to start with my area formula, since that's what I was given. I'm going to substitute the area, 225 pi in for A, in my formula. Since they're giving us the area in terms of pi, I'm actually going to leave pi in my formula as pi. I don't want to replace it with 3.14 because it just makes things more complicated. And the radius, again, is what I don't know. So at this point, remember, we're trying to get the radius alone. So in my equation here, I need to get rid of the pi that's in front of it. So if you think about it, it's pi times r squared. So the opposite operation would be to divide pi. And so when I do that, on the left side, the pi's there actually cancel out. Pi divided by pi is 1. And so I'm just left with 225. And the same thing happens on the right. Equals r squared. And so what we did on the front here is we took the square root of both sides to figure that out. Remember, on your calculator, if you're trying to figure out the square root of something, you can do control x squared or second x squared, depending on what your calculator says, and then type in 225. And you should get the square root of that is 15. And it says it's feet. So our radius is 15 feet. Okay, for number eight, now we're given the circumference of a circle is 18 pi, and they want us to find the radius. So I'm going to choose to start with my 2 pi r formula for circumference. You could do pi d. I'm just choosing to do 2 pi r because I'm being asked to find the radius. Okay, so I know the circumference is 18 pi, so that's what I'm going to substitute in for c in my formula. The other side, I can't really plug anything in, again, because it's in terms of pi. I want to leave pi alone. And so now I'm trying to think, okay, I have to get r alone, but there's a 2 pi attached to it. So this is 2 times pi times r. So the only way to get rid of that 2 pi is to divide both sides by it. And so when you do 18 pi divided by 2 pi, think of it as 18 divided by 2 is 9. Pi divided by pi is just 1, so they cancel. And on the right side, 2 divided by 2 is 1, pi divided by pi is 1, and so all we're left with on that side is r. And we're done. That's the radius. So the radius is equal to 9 inches. Okay, one more like that. The circumference of a circle is 16 pi. What is the diameter? So just because it's asking for a diameter, let's use that formula, circumference equals pi d. And I'm going to substitute 16 pi in for c in my formula. And I'm going to leave pi d on the other side. So my goal here is to get d alone, the diameter. So right now, since it's pi times d, the opposite is to divide by pi. So when I do that, the pi's are going to equal 1 on the left, so I just get 16, and on the right, equals d, and I'm done. So the diameter here is 16, and they didn't give us a unit, so I'm just going to 16 units. And that's it. That's how you figure out how the circumference and area formulas are used to kind of work backwards.